This video is sponsored by Fotros. Fotros, because weather planning was yesterday. Yeah, it's really like that. The best composition the human being has ever seen could lie yeah, in front of your feet, actually. But you will not see it if you don't know how to see like a photographer. So in this video, I'm going to give you some really useful tips about how to improve your photographic scene and ultimately how to do easier with finding compositions. Ah, my friends, very nice to see you. It's definitely one of the most important things in photography, having the skill of photographic seeing. And also when it's quite obvious, but the most important foundation for photographing seeing is to understand composition. And I'm not talking about the rule of thirds or the golden ratio or something like that. I'm talking about the artist to architecture of an image. I will put you a link to my ebook down in the description. It is free and it contains really everything you need to know about composition. Now, in my experience, there are two different approaches for photographic scene. The first one is yeah, what I would recommend for every photographer out there. And the other one is yeah, more meant as a pro tip to get the really strong image in the ad. But first things first, and this is the first tip, engage with your environment. And by that, I don't only mean when you are out in the field for taking the photograph. Do that as often as possible. The more you do that, the better will get your ability for photographic scene. I started with photography around 34 years ago, but I'm still engaging with that. That's really, really important. And I have to say, it's so easy in times like these because everyone has a camera with him all the time. I'm sure you have also one of these flat cameras here. And it is really whenever I'm out for a walk and I see anything I like, I frame up a quick composition and I take a snapshot with my phone. The only difference to my productive photography is that I don't spend all too much time on my kind of training compositions. This image here was taken quickly while I was walking together with my wife through an enchanting old town in Uscani. And here a quick shot from the other side of the same alley. And just to make that clear, I didn't have a camera with me. These are just quick snapshots with my phone while my wife was just stopping for a few seconds enjoying all these old buildings. Yeah, that helps me simply to train my ability of photographic scene. It's like chucking or something like that actually. And same situation here. When we were hiking up this mountain, I found these nice flowers here on the ground whilst the mountain in the distance was illuminated for just a few seconds. And important here is that the goal of that kind of training is not to get a masterpiece. These phone shots are no photographs which are meant to be published or even sold or so. These are just training shots for improving my photographic scene. I would never have the idea to take this scene here as a productive photograph. It is just a quick snap from my kitchen window while I was boiling water for my D. I simply liked the light and the arrangement of the hut and the house and the tree behind it accentuated with that illuminated cloud. I was totally sure about that awful mess here in the left hand area of my neighbor's garden. But again, my aim was not to get a photograph that would be published or so. No, my aim was just to improve my photographic scene. And one good tip here, by the way, is take your phone, go out for a walk, stop anywhere spontaneously, and then try to build up a composition wherever you are. Yeah, the light in this image here is awful, I know that. But I spotted that row behind that tree whilst I was out for a walk. I was not able to do just one step or so, otherwise it would have run away immediately. So I just took my phone, I even zoomed in with digital zoom, so yeah, that the image quality got really bad. But again, it's not an image I would show to others. Yeah, just to my family maybe, or to my best friends or so. The goal of phone shots like that is just to improve my photographic scene, which also improves yeah, uh, 
my ability to find in compositions. So observing your environment as often as possible and taking phone shots is really a useful tip here. And before I will tell you exactly which things you have to engage with when you're out in the field to find compelling compositions. Uh, friends, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. You know, it helps me, it helps the algorithm, and it also helps other photographers out there to find this video better on YouTube. Thank you, therefore. Okay, the first approach is what I call the geometric approach. And an important thing I consider here all the time is lines, shapes, and patterns. In this image here, I spotted this nice shoreline leading the viewer back to that old ruin. And in this here, I spotted these repeating patterns on the ground, which leads to a sense of depth as the pattern gets smaller and smaller to the distance. And in this here, I spotted these nice boulders building this curve and leading back. But I have to admit, it is not always that obvious. Sometimes it can get really tricky. This image here was taken inside a cave and I got attracted by these boulders. But they didn't build an obvious line or obvious patterns or something like that that would add anything to the composition. Just by trying different camera angles, I got them arranged in a kind of yeah, triangle shape so that they pull the viewer into the frame. Well, another important thing according to photographing seeing is light. And whilst the quality of light has an impact of, on the mood of the image, the direction of the light can even create yeah, new elements in the landscape. Yeah, light is really something magically. This image here works just because the sun was shining through a gap in the mountain left beside. It is the light that transformed these additional lines, shapes and patterns. In this image here, the rising sun was creating this illuminated hill in the foreground, which leads to this fantastic sense of depth. And same with this image here. The game between light and shadow formed these nice layers here, whilst the star of the show, that mountain back there, got illuminated and draws the viewer's eyes back there. I spotted this composition just yeah, because of the light. So light is really a good thing to look at for photographic scene. And what I, what I also do is I look at color. And that already before I'm clear about my composition, to be honest. In this image here, I spotted this nice color contrast between these reds and browns in the foreground and the greens in the distance, which leads to this fantastic sense of depth. And same here, I got attracted to the contrast between autumn foliage and the mosses and the dried out brook bed. In this image here, I got attracted by this nice color contrast in blue hour, the blue water and the orange stripe on the horizon. So we have lines, shapes and patterns, we have light and shadow and we have color. That's the geometric approach. And for beginners and advanced, I would recommend to put your focus especially on that type of approach. Again, there is much more behind composition. My free ebook is linked down in the description for you. But if you want to get your photographic scene up to the next level, I would recommend to engage also with something else. Now, what I do is when I enter a location, especially for the first time, I don't look consciously for geometry. I don't look consciously for line shapes and patterns and things like these. These things uh, I consider when I'm out uh, with my phone, just for draining issues, but not when I'm doing productive photography. Sometimes I do, but when I want to get yeah, a really strong image, I do something different instead. I look for characters, stories and mood. And this second approach is what I call the story approach. And ultimately, it is all about finding significant characters and telling a story with them by using all the techniques 
I mentioned before unconsciously to frame up my composition. My goal is simply, yeah, that my image says something. Because when we break it down, the only thing that really counts in fine art photography is that there are emotions evoked in the viewers. And I made already a comprehensive video about emotions. I will link it here for you. My friends, I hope you liked this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up. And don't forget to join me next week. There will come a fantastic video as well. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.